love having recipes that I can make really quick and they're healthful and versatile. That's a big key, versatile. I like things that can be used in lots of different ways. So today I'm going to show you how I'm going to make a spread or a dip that's somewhere between guacamole and hummus. It's got a lot of the same ingredients and you can use it in all the ways that you use guacamole and hummus. So let me show you how easy and quick it is to put together. I've got my ingredients already set out. I've got half cup of chickpeas that I'm going to put into my food processor and I'm going to add one clove of garlic that I've just chopped up a little bit. And once I have those in my food processor, I'm going to turn it on and give it a good start so it starts to get a little bit smooth. The chickpeas are really nice and fine, a real fine texture right now, so I'm really ready to add the rest of my ingredients. I'm going to put in about a quarter cup of tahini. And remember, tahini is just like smushed up sesame seeds. It's sesame paste. It has a really, really good toasty kind of a flavor. And I'm going to add two ripe avocados and just scoop them right into the food processor. And then I'm going to add the juice from half of a lime and half of a lemon. That gives it just a really nice, bright flavor and also thins it out a little bit. I'm going to add one teaspoon of ground cumin and that's another thing that makes it a little bit like guacamole. I always put cumin in my guacamole. And I'm going to add some fresh herbs. You can use whatever variety you want. Today I'm using about a cup total that's made up of cilantro and fresh basil. I'm gonna sprinkle in a little bit of kosher salt or coarse salt, just like that. Mix it up and then it's ready to eat. And there's lots of ways you can use it. You can put it on wraps, you can put it in sandwiches, you can use it with crackers and chips. But something I like this time of the year when there's so much fresh produce around, I love to serve it on little butter lettuce leaves. So I'm just gonna put a nice generous scoop right into the middle of my butter lettuce leaf. And then I'm going to add some fresh vegetables. Whatever you have on hand will be delicious. I've got some fresh cucumbers right out of the garden, some chopped up cherry tomatoes out of the garden, and a little bit of carrot. So colorful. You'll be so happy you have this in your refrigerator. I'm Sue Godin sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.